In this brief presentation, I'm going to introduce ways of thinking about education theoretically. The presentation focuses on two things. Firstly, I will cover common sense thinking and suggest that this has limitations for our understanding of the world and therefore for approaching educational research. Secondly, I will introduce social theory and highlight why it is important for educational research. In his work, Thinking Sociologically, Zygmunt but Bauman gives us the following quote. He says, the subject matter of sociology is embedded into our everyday lives. And without this fact, we would be unable to conduct our lives in the company of others. And you'll find that on page five of the 2019 edition of this work. Looking at this quote, we can see that Bauman is telling us that everyday life is the raw material for a sociologist. Extending this to education, then, we can also say that everyday educational lives are the raw material for educational theory and research. Bauman also observes that this is necessary. The social scientist studies real lives. Without real lives, they would not be. So, we have tacit knowledge about the worlds we inhabit. However, we don't necessarily think in any systematic way about what, what we encounter, and we take for granted some ways of being, attitudes, etc. Another way to express this is the goldfish is the last to notice the water. Bauman explains that in order to counter the potential dangers of common sense thinking, we should adopt theoretical ways of thinking that are connected to disciplines that have established an epistemology, a framework for understanding the world. Bauman actually refers to thinking sociologically, but other disciplinary approaches are available. You are experts in your practice. You know a great deal about it. However, what theories do is provide us with thinking tools beyond our common sense thinking. Bourdieu, another sociologist whose work is used to examine education, makes a similar point, calling for epistemological vigilance. Epistemological vigilance is particularly necessary in the social sciences, of which the study of education forms one part, where the separation between everyday opinion and scientific discourse is more blurred than elsewhere. So this refers to not accepting things as g given, that we need to be aware of the theories of knowledge that help to shape our understandings of the world. Returning to Bauman briefly, we can see that everyday life, as we've said before, is the, is the raw material for social sciences. Everyday educational lives are the raw material for educational research. And as a consequence, we are immersed in these lives. We have pre-notions, established ways of thinking about the way things are. We confirm our thinking through our experiences. But theory assists us in, res in researching this re reality, thinking about things in, in a different way, in an objectifying sort of way and providing a defense against c c common sense. And finally, there were two sources referred to in this presentation. The first was Zygmunt Bauman, 2019 edition, Thinking Sociologically, published by Wiley and Bourdieu, 
Chamberden and Passeron, 1991, The Craft of Sociology, Epistemological Preliminaries, published by Walter de Gruyter.